Well, hello again, everybody. It's Robert Earl out here at the Eco Ranch in Far West Texas. Thought I'd give you an update. I haven't done a video in a while, and there's a good reason why I haven't. I haven't done it because we haven't done a lot. Uh, I mentioned once before that, that money is a little tight since we're on a fixed income, so we can't, we have to move as our income allows, and that's the same as all of you do. So I haven't had a lot to do, but I have been a little bit busy. We've switched the focus off of the, um, finishing the hen house and I'm going to show you why from behind the camera so let's take a just a couple minute tour of what's going on and um, hopefully I'll have something concrete to really show you very very soon like in a few days uh, or at least a week so let's get for it let's get going well here we are again in the unfinished chicken coop and you'll notice that the walls are not up um, I couldn't put a priority on the walls because the chickens were growing up and maturing so fast. So what we did do though is, let's pan over here, we completely finished the feed bin. Uh, there's the door to it with a handle. Pull that door up and I'll, in fact I'll show you the inside of it. I've got the steps done but I still have to put right here in front of us a wall so that we don't step off the back. Debbie and I are getting old, our balance is a little insecure. Now I couldn't do a real good finish uh, contour on the top there, so um, that's the best I could do and um, I, I guess I guess it's just kind of, uh, I'll just use the word artsy because that's always my um, the word I go to when I say, oh it doesn't look pretty so it's artsy. Um, this door, I have to put the handle on it and paint it, and the door will pick up and the feed comes out. And here is the main door. I'll get back and hopefully you can see in there. This will hold about a ton of feed, and that ton of feed will um, flow naturally. You can't see the slope, but it is sloped, and it'll flow naturally right out the, uh, the bottom here. So we got that done. But the reason we didn't get much more done is right here, these characters here. The ducks and the young, young chickens. These are the chickens we hatched ourselves. And these are the ducks that we bought back in, uh, well, they started coming in March and the last batch came in early May. Um, they're Muscovy ducks, except for, I hope the shadow will let you folks see these. Where are they? There they are. Those are those are runner ducks. We like runner ducks just for eye candy, so those are yard ornaments. But these guys were growing up, and they needed this pen. So Debbie, it was Debbie's idea. I was too stupid to figure out. All I had to do was build a pen in here, and then that took the pressure off. So we have the pen in here, and now you see that door in the end with the ducks sitting on the board. We open that up so that the ducks can walk out if they want, and you can also walk back in. These guys are sitting here. They're not quite old enough to lay eggs yet. They are old enough to eat if you want to eat them. We're not going to eat any of these because we have a nice balance of drakes and hens. Those guys got out this morning, first time out, and they're just sitting out there. Now, the come evening, I'll pull that board they're using as a ramp. I'll pull that board the other way and let them walk in. They go in every night, and there's no predators because they do have a light up there. Predators have not bothered us yet. They may, but they haven't yet. Took a lot of pressure off of us. Also, these pioneer chickens, like this girl right here, they grew up. And we had to, um, we had to process the ones that we were going to process. Just So we went ahead and we processed um, a number of them. I think we ended up doing 19 birds. The rest are staying to lay eggs, and we had to process those. So we got those done. The last 13 we did, I counted all the meals we got off of it. We were able to get 47 meals uh, off of processing those chickens. And I'll leave it up to you folks that are, um, that, that are watching the videos here. If you think you'd like me to uh, do a video about how we kill and process the chickens, I'll tell you up front, I will not show the death of a chicken or any animal on, um, on the video. But um, if you want to see how to clean, uh, skin clean, or scald, pluck, clean, cut up, and store, and age rather, and store your chickens, let me know, um, and I can easily do a video on that. Now the last thing we're doing is actually quite important. 
This will eventually be a three-step fountain that's going to lead to a duck pond. You can see right here in the front, the lip. That lip, the water will cascade off of that lip into a, about an 18-inch deep uh, pond that will go for 15 feet out right just this side of that hose and will be only as wide, which is about five feet wide right there. Uh, that's all the wider it'll be because this is a desert, we can't waste water. But that'll be a duck pond. It's gonna have a kind of a unique filtration system. I'll show you whether it works or not when I get that up. So that, um, I have to at least finish the fountain and then we're going to go back to the, um, actually we're going to, because we have the time, we're gonna go back to finishing the garage door for the, uh, um, for the core of air. The reason I want to finish the garage door is I've got an $800 garage door sitting on the ground. And I have to get it up off the ground. So that's what we're of up to. There's right going now. to be more as we move along. I just wanted to do something so people, uh, especially because I've gotten so many new subscribers, um, I wanted to at least give you an update of what we're doing and what we're not doing. It's building up to another 100 degree day here on September 2nd. So, um, uh, welcome to the desert and welcome to, to September in the fall. This is the worst month you could ever have in the, in, in the south. September in the fall, September in the south. It's the worst month there is because growing up in, in uh, Michigan like I did, you look to September for cooler weather and, and uh, you know, the comfort of having the cooler weather. Instead, we still continue just as though it were July in September for a while. Sometime about the middle of September, They'll throw a switch, the temperature will drop. Uh, we're going to be working our fannies off from September until uh, May because that's when we get the cooler weather. So, until the next video, from out here in the construction zone in far west Texas, it's Robert Earl. See you later.